This is a video of how to firmware upgrade the Comtrend Nexus Link 5631, which is used by BE as their line bonding router. Depending uh, the age of the router you've got, it'll either be on 192.168.1.1, or the newer ones will be on 192.168.1.254. Uh, in my demonstration, my network's entirely different, and it's on 10.0.0.10. But so basically, load up Internet Explorer and uh, go to the IP address of the router. So in my case, is 10.0.0.10. But other customers need to go to 192.168.1.1 or 192.168.1.254. The default username and password is root, and the password is 123. Four, five, unless uh, B have told you otherwise or you've changed it. And uh, let's go to Management, Update Software, Browse, and find the software. Uh, in some cases, you'll be given two different firmware files, and you'll need to go to a different IP address and uh, also firmware flash the second CPU of the router. And uh, there we go, basically that's that. That's it, it's uploaded it to the router, the router will reboot, don't unplug it from the mains or press the reset button on the back or do anything while it's uh, doing that, otherwise you'll end up with a very expensive brick again. Um, so we'll just wait for it to come back. I'm just going to be uh, nosy and ping it and see whether it's come back. With any luck, I'm not sure whether this version will keep its settings, but uh, my internet connection has definitely gone dead. Hopefully it will come back on the same IP address. And it hasn't. Uh, makes me wonder whether it goes onto a different IP address. Ooh, and everything on my network seems to have lost its IP, which is interesting. So let's see whether it's gone onto. In fact, I'm on Dynamic, so I can just release and renew my IP address. Hopefully, I haven't ended up with a very expensive brick. <laughs> ah, there we go, it finally came back and it managed to keep its old IP settings, so there we go, at least with that firmware upgrade. It seems to take longer, longer than they expect it to. It said two minutes, and I think that took slightly longer. Um, but it's come back. Now if I go to, again, the IP address of the router. And it's resynchronized. Uh, kept its old IP range. Seems to have kept its old settings as well, which is good. And yes, I'm on the uh, test firmware that I wanted to put on there. So that's basically how you upgrade the Comtrend router. You see, log into it, go to Management, Go to update software, give it the firmware file, click update, wait a long time, don't unplug it, don't reset it, and off you go.